What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are hopping onto the Series 13 ladder, but this time with a team without Zacian, Kyogre, or Shadow Rider Calyrex. We are rocking out with a coaching Groudon team alongside with Trick Room, Magearna, and Trick Room, Palkia. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. But before we get started here with today's team preview, just want to give a little overview on these guys right here. So I want to use a team that was not so like meta. Like, like I said in the beginning of the video, we have no Kyogre, we have no Shadow Rider Calyx, we have no Zassian. So it's definitely going to be a nice little change of pace. And I would consider this an off meta team for Series 13. Definitely a lot of strong Pokemon on team, but definitely not the meta Pokemon for the Series 13. You guys get what I'm saying? Hopefully you guys do. But we also have Explosion Regilecki. So really, really cool with the choice ban. Cannot wait to showcase that off and hopefully get some KOs with that. But with that out of the way, let's get started with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Zero or over here with the Twist Scarf and Volt Absorber. It has Plasma Fist, Coaching, Close Combat, and Throw Chop. Really cool moveset, but the Twist Scarf, I don't know how to feel about that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll end up liking it by the end of the video because, you know, Zero or is already decently fast, but Twist Scarfing into a Coaching could be a little weird. But like I said, we're going to try it out. We're going to see if we can grab some wins with it. Second Pokemon is going to be Groudon over here with a Drought and the Assault Vest. It's got Precipice Blades, Fire Punch, Rock Slide, and Shadow Claw. I absolutely love this moveset, and I love the Assault Vest on Groudon because it makes him 10 times more bulkier. Middle left is going to be Whimsicott. Whimsicott is over here for Speed Control. It has Trick Room and Tailwind, so it can pretty much slow things down, pick up the pace. It can do whatever your speed things need to offer. It has Energy Ball for its Lonesome Stab move and Protect for its fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Magearna over here, one of the most OP Pokemon in Series 13. Super, super strong due to its ability Soul Heart, and it's rocking the Shuka Berry as its item. It's got Flash Cannon, it's got Trick Room, it's got Protect, and Dazzle Beam for its four moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be this fun little Regilecki setup right here. It's got Transistor alongside with the Choice Band. Yeah, a Choice Band Regilecki over here with Volt Switch, which is really good. It has Extreme Speed for first turn priority, and then it's got Wild Charge for Stab, and Explosion just for massive damage. So if we feel like we can just explode into a Pokemon, we can protect one of our Pokemon. Well, we only have two Pokemon that can protect, which would be Magearna and uh, Wimscott, and then we can just explode and kind of get off some big damage from there. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Life Orb Palkia, and I feel like this Pokemon is super, I wouldn't say underrated, but it's like not meta, but it's super strong. I don't really know where to place it in the tier list, but a uh, super strong Pokemon right here is Palkia with the Life Orb alongside the Pressure ability. It's got Spatial Rain, Hydro Pump, Earth Power, and Trick Room for its four moves. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but you guys know the deal. Let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 13 Coaching Groudon team. First battle coming at you guys, and look who we are going up against. You guys could have guessed it. It's a Zacian, Kyogre, and Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Come on, man. We are not using one of them in today's video. So, of course, we are going to be going up against a ton of them. He also has Solgaleo, Zeraora, just like us, and Whimsicott, just like us. But how should I go with this one? How should I play it? I could go in with Twist Scarf, Zeraora. That wouldn't be a bad call. I'm not going to lie, because if he does lead the, uh, what's it called? The Shadow Rider Calyrex, I can just throw chop it. And then if he doesn't, I can kind of coach up with Groudon. So, I can lead both of them. I really don't mind it. The defense boost is going to be nice. Everything about that is going to be nice. He can go Kyogre. Kyogre is definitely scary, but do we think he's going to go Kyogre and Whimsicott? I could go Reg Lecky Whimsicott, which would not be a bad turn. It would not be a bad turn. Hmm. The choice to a Volt Switch, pivot out, kind of roll off from there. But at this point, I can kind of set up a bunch of different things. I can go Whimsicott. I can go Reg Lecky, Volt Switch into like Palkia. I feel like that's a solid turn, right? He might want to set up a Tailwind, and we can just trick him on top of that. I am really digging that. So, you know what? I'm just going to go there. I'm going to go Regilecki. I'm going to bring Palkia, and I think I'm going to bring Magearna. Or do I bring Groudon? Palkia or Magearna? Or Groudon or Magearna? I'm kind of leaning towards Groudon. Groudon just has a lot of super effective shots. He has the Assault Vest. He can also change up weather on the Kyogre, so I really do like that. So I'm kind of hoping he is leading the... The what's it called? The Wimscott, because I'm just going to pop a trick that's what I would love. I would love for him to go for a Tailwind, and then we pop a Trick Room on top of that. We have a Focus Ash, so we can't die. And then we just Volt Switch, Pivot, and we So we'll see. We will see. We shall see. We're going to end up leading Solgaleo alongside with who else? With Shadow Rider Calyx. Um. Huh. I don't want to do this. I do think Volt Switch is still the play. 
I do think Volt Switch is still the play into the Shadow Rider. Hmm. Options, options, options. Yeah, Trick Room is definitely the play. Sogaleo is here. Sogaleo is scary. Um, who's slower, Palkia or Groudon? I really like both of them here. 119 and 124. So Groudon is slower. I do like Groudon with that Assault Fest. Yeah, I'm still going to go for the Trick Room. I really am. Or I could, I could just pop the Tailwind. Tailwind Grant is full speed control. And Trick Room's not a guarantee. It really depends who he goes after you, right? I mean, I'm still going to do this. I'm just going to roll switch out. Special Lucky still should outspeed and get off that damage, bring down at least Focus Ash, and then we can uh, go on the ground on. But I wonder what he's going for. Probably should have Tailwind here because he might just go into a Steel Spike. That could be its play. Because he can go for Steel Spike and Astro Barrage, and that could be a tough little little maneuver for us. But at that point, I think we just Dynamax and ground on. Or do we just go into Palkin? Because I think Dynamax Palkin might be a bit better because if he goes for the defense boost, that could do me a little dirty. So we'll see what he wants to do here. I'm just going to end up full switching. I'm going to send it. And that did like nothing. That did like nothing. Why did we have Regil? Look, let me see this Regilecki stats. Come here. What is your stats here? What's your stats? Speed and attack. Isn't Volt Switch physical? It's special. Okay, never mind. I thought it was physical for some reason. I thought it was physical. Okay. Okay, then that makes a lot of sense. We could have exploded there. That could have been cool, but explosion really wouldn't have done much. But I could swap. I could hard swap in the ground on it. I'm kind of lean towards that just due to that Soul Fest. It could really do us good. So. Yeah, I'm going to swap into Groudon, and hopefully we can get off this Trick Room. I don't know if we can. Like I said, I think Tailwind might have been the play. I think Tailwind might have been the play here. So I think he knows we're going for Trick Room at this point. Let's see what he goes for. Bulldoze is going to come out here, and yeah, he's... Hopefully he's going after Groudon slot. Hopefully he's going after Groudon slot. I would really like that. Go after my Groudon. Go after my Groudon. I don't care if you KO him, just go after my Groudon. I would love to get off this Trick Room. This Trick Room's too big. He's going to go for Quake. That should be going into the ground on slot. I think we should be fine with that. Yep. Okay, cool. And we eat. We eat that all day long. So we eat that up. He gets a special defense boost. I could Dynamax ground on. I could definitely Dynamax ground on, but we definitely want to Blades here. And I'm really happy we got off that trick. Trick room's out and about. And definitely Blades have to come out here. And I could Energy Ball. Energy Ball has a chance for Stat Drop. My lower special defense. You know what? I'll go for it. Because I think Blade should be able to take out this Calyrex, right? I think Precipice Blades can take that Calyrex out. I maybe should double down on the Calyrex just in case, but that's on me. That is on me. I just didn't want him to protect Calyrex's turn. Ends up withdrawing him. What's he going to go into? He can go into Kyogre. I do not mind the Kyogre. I don't mind the Kyogre too much. I really don't mind the Kyogre. Because again, if I can land his blades on it, that could be some nice damage for us. And I wish I would have energy balled into it too. That could have been some good damage. The blade's going to fire. We're going to get off some mean damage on the Kyogre and onto the Sogaleo. So again, really solid turn for us. And energy ball is going to fly. And energy ball doing a nice chunk. Gets a crit. I was going to say, why did it do so much damage? <laughs> that did a lot of damage. He's going to end up steel spiking. And this is when we bring out the Palkia. So he's going to grant himself a defense boost. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely fine with that. But we can bring out the Palkia at this point. Save a Regilecki for back end. Because again, he outspeeds the Calyrex. Trick Room's gone, and I really do like that. And then he has extreme speed. But if I had to guess, his final Pokemon is probably going to be... It's probably going to be, uh, what's it called? Dacian? So, I gotta take out a Pokemon here. So I know Blades will take out Kyogre, no problem. So Kyogre might protect. Uh, we definitely have to double down into this, uh, Sogaleo. So I'm just gonna go for a special defense boost. And then, on top of that, just drop another Blades and... You know, fingers crossed that it lands. Fingers crossed that it lands. Because this could be a really... This could be a pivotal turn in the map right here. This could really be a pivotal turn. Be a solid turn. Because I think we have... How many turns left in Trick Room? Two or three? Which is perfect for, for Palkia. But it's not too good for Groudon. But again, if I could pick up this double KO here, waste out another turn, and then eventually bring in Regilecki when Trick Room's gone, we could really thrive out in this battle. Plus, again, we pick up this double KO. His Dynamax is gone. He's forced to throw out Shadow Rider, Calyx, and Trick Room. Probably Zacian as well. And again, I'm really liking where we're sitting. I'm really liking where, we're, where we, we would be sitting at that point. And plus, uh, Shadow Rider, Calyx doesn't have Focus Ash. Like, if it had it, you know. If it had the Focus Ash. 
Because we hit it with the bone switch already. So Palkia gets a Dynamax from me. I love Palkia. I love Palkia, dude. So good in Dynamax form. Again, one of the best Pokemon in Dynamax, in my opinion. I don't know why. I just feel like it hits so hard and it's super bulky all around due to its typing. But he's going to end up doing nothing. No protects. Blades comes out and he... Oh, he, pay, he has a defense boost. That kind of hurts his soul. That kind of hurts his soul. He has a defense boost. And... Kyogre does not go down to that blades, which kind of hurts, but still. Good thing we got rid of the Solgaleo. We got a special defense boost, and I do have extreme speed. I think I might have to choice into extreme speed with my uh, Reg Lackey, which could be good. I do have extreme speed. Extreme speed could work wonders here. I'm going to do that. We are going to lose some life orb damage, and this thing is just going to go for an Origin Pulse. Palki can soak that up all day, and yeah, I think we have the choice into an extreme speed here. I could explode. I could definitely explode. <laughs> I could just pop an explosion. But extreme speed might be our play. All right, we have two more turns left in Dynamax. How many turns left in uh Trick Room? It's the real question. It is the real question. I mean Palkia is slower. I'm trying to think of how like what we could do here. Palkia should be slowest on the field. Is he gonna bring out Shadow Rider Calyx? Because that would be my only problem with choosing it to extreme speed. Would be that Shadow Rider Calyx. So we'll see what he wants to do. I'm gonna go Reggie. Hey, where are you going, kind sir? Zassian, maybe? Where are you gonna go? He's gonna go Zassian. Okay, with Zassian on the field, uh. I might just drop its attack, because I do think it's gonna protect, right? High chance of it's protecting. How many turns off the trick room? Two. That is beautiful. That is really nice for us. Do I wait? What do I do here? I feel like I have to quick, you know, Shadow Rider Kyler's come out here, or I can worm one into the kite. Oops. Saying that it's going to protect here. But then if it doesn't protect, it kind of hurts. I'd rather just go for a special offense and make the smart play. Um, mm, We have to extreme speed, right? We have to extreme speed into the Kyogre. He's going to protect his ass, and I know it. I'll be super surprised if he doesn't, but we have to make the simple play. Yep, there's a protect. Should have worn one into that thing and choice into like a wild charge or something. Could have been a lot better for us. Extreme Speed's gonna come in here. He's going to take out the Kyogre. We are choice into that now. And yeah, I definitely wish I would have went, went for a worm one and choice into a different move. This is gonna poke out here and it's gonna do slight damage. And again, special defense is boosted for us. So I think we have to worry about this Zassy more so than anything else. Right? I feel like we can soak up shots from Shadow Rider Calyx all day. But the problem is, do we think he's going to try to land a double protect? That would be my problem. That would be my problem. This thing trying to land a double protect. And if he lands double protect, we are in a tough situation. But if he doesn't, we are sitting really, really good. Because again, we're going to be able to out bulk everything. We are going to go plus three on the board. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to send a shot here. And I could just go straight for Shadow Rider Calyx. But no, we have to get rid of Zassian. Like Zassian has got to go. Zassian has got to go. Please don't land double protect. I'd be so upset. That would be so upsetting if he lands double protect. It really would be. It really would be if he lands double protect. And I lose the match off of that. Because again, if we take out the Zassian right here right now, we have a huge chance of winning this battle. Because at that point, we should be able to soak up an Astro Barrage. And just roll out from there. Again, plus three on special defense. That's a huge bolt. That's a huge bolt. But yo, what a solid first battle for battle. Everyone. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Hope you guys enjoying these these competitive rank battles. He goes for double protect. It fails. Thank the Lord. RNG stick it on our side a little bit, and we're gonna go for, for an extreme speed. Chip up a little bit of damage there. Quake's gonna fly through here. Take out the Zassian. I'm pretty sure, right? It's life orb. It's super effective. Get him on out my face. Get him on out of here. This dude's gone, and now we're just sitting here with this Shadow Rider Calyx. But hopefully, he doesn't know that my Reg like he can't do anything. But again, I think Palkia should be able to clean this up. Like, one Spatial Ren, one Hydra Pump should be able to finish this thing off. And we're, we're thriving here with the plus three. Like, look at this soak. Look at that soak. Absolutely soaking it up. Trick Room's gone. He's going to get off another turn. But yeah, I think I just play it safe. And I go for a Spatial Ren instead of a Hydra Pump. Because you guys know Hydra Pump can miss. What is it? Like, 70% accuracy? Let's see. What are you? 80. This thing's 95. And 95 should be able to take it out. We're going to go for that. And Extreme Speed's going to come in hot here. And it's going to do nothing. It is going to do nothing, but let's see what he does. Extreme speed poking here. Blocks, or it doesn't hit him. Astro Barrage comes through here. Again, Palkia should be able to probably soak up two of these, right? Yes, Palkia can soak up all day. 
Palky can so actually mm. It has Grim Nay now. But I think he dies to this space around here, right? Land this. Land this, please. Thank you. Give me a crit or just take him out. Get him out of here, Palkia. You have the life orb for a reason. Let's go. Let's go. Battle number one. We come up clutch. Palkia clutches it up with that trick room. You gotta love it. Would you look at that? We just beat a team with Zacian, Shadow Rider, Kalox, and Kyogre without Zacian, Shadow Rider, Kalox, or Kyogre. Beautiful battle by us. We outplayed our opponent 100% and ended up catching that double. We're hopping into our second battle and we're going up against a really cool kind of like off meta team for Series 13. He's got the Kieran Black alongside with Groudon, Lunala, Magirna. Then he's got Intimidate, Incineroar, and probably Defiant. Or well, that might even be Prankster. What is that? Prankster? What's it called? Tornadus. Or not Tornadus. Thunderous. Hmm. Options, options, options. Okay, what do I do? How should I go into it? He could have fake out with that Incineroar. I could go into like a special attack of like Palkia. It seems like his team's rather slow. So I think Palkia is going to be a great lead. Or I can go Groudon and just start coaching it up. But again, Intimidate would kind of scare me. I don't really like the Intimidate on Incineroar. So that's why I'm leaning a bit more towards Palkia. And I could go Magirna with this one as well. I could definitely go Magirna as well. So I'm really liking well, I could go Regilecki and maybe just explode. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. But I'm, I feel like Palkia and Magirna is probably a play. We could protect one of them. Pop a trick room, bring Groudon in the back end. And then we could bring in Final Pokemon. I feel like Regilecki, after everything ends, could be strong. Or maybe even Sarah Aura. Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind of like a Regilecki. You can do a bit more damage with the Choice Band. So I'm digging that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves someone here in battle number two. But yeah, that first battle... Definitely came down to the wire. Came very close, but we were just outplaying our opponent all day long, which was awesome. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that first battle. But I forgot to ask you guys in battle number one question of the day, and that is, are you a fan of the Pikmin series? Pikmin 4 has just been announced at the last Nintendo Direct, and I'm a big fan of the Pikmin series. Cannot wait for that game to come out. Let me know if you guys are excited for that as well. But uh, he goes Groudon. He goes Lunala. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, he sets a drought, which is kind of annoying. I mean, I could swap Magirna. I could protect Magirna. I could actually max guard Magirna. And pop a trick room. I could do that if I want to. I don't think he's gonna pop a trick room. I, hmm, that's tough news. I think I might do that. I think I might just go here and just protect, right? Just trick room. I don't think Lunala's gonna pop the trick room. I really don't think so. I think a Blades or Quake's gonna come into the uh, like Yurna slot. And then Lunala's just gonna do its thing, right? Don't be real upset if his Lunal pops a trick room. <laughs> and then we just both cancel it out. That'd be a that'd be an awful turn for us. Play protects Groudon. Is he going for Trick Room? I, th I think we're doing the same thing. I think we're doing the same thing, which I don't like. Just for a Meteor Beam. Can I go into Magirna, please? I would think that would be getting into Magirna. That'd be a good turn for us. Go into Magirna. Go in the Magirna, please. Go into Magirna. I'm not going to ask again. No, because of Palkia. I think Palkia should be able to soak this, though. It does. Beautiful, Palkia. I love you. It's a crit, too. Oh! Oh! Disgusting. It's disgusting. No bueno. No good. No good. Okay, at this point, uh... Yeah, just spatial run instead of hydro pumping. He can have the weather. Did I just Dynamax him? Do I go for a Steel Spike? Or do I drop a Starfall? I think Steel Spike's a better play. What does he have in the back end? Incineroar. Uh, I don't really mind this. Uh, I don't think he really has too much to swap. I don't think he's going to swap it to Incineroar. That's the thing. We have two special attackers. I really don't see that coming. So I'm just going to go into the ground slot with the Steel Spike. Get a defense boost for the squad. And kind of go from there. So yeah, Dynamax and Magirona in the trick room. I do like it. We have Regilecki in the back end. And then we have a Groudon of our own with a Soul Vest. That's not too bad. So if our Palkia goes down here, that's fine because we get the Soul Heart boost. Right? I'm trying to think. Yeah, we'll get the Soul Heart boost, but hopefully Palkia can get off a turn before it actually goes down. So it gets off some damage, and then it kind of rolls out from there. But Magirna's going to go first. It's going to deal damage without the Soul Heart boost, and the next turn is going to be even stronger. That's not too bad. Is he going to Dynamax? I'm curious. I think he might. He does. He ends up Dynamax and probably the Groudon, if I think it's actually maybe the, even the Lunala. Lunala's plus one on special attack. That could be a strong Pokemon. And no, he keeps it simple. He goes straight for the ground. He's going to stay in with Lunala. And Lunala's probably just going to go for a Moonghost Beam. If I had to guess, finish my Palkia. And then 
Brown's gonna go for that Quake. Which I'm cool with. I really am fine with that. The Steel Spikes can come in here. We're gonna grant a nice little defense boost. Oh, and this thing's gonna be able to soak pretty well. Gonna be able to soak. But again, we I think a spatial wrench should come out here before Lunala. I'm hoping. Let's see. Nope, Lunala's gonna go first. And there's the Moon Guys beam, just like I said. So Moon Guys beam's coming in here. Max Quake is coming out here along along with it. And then we just bring out Groudon, right? We have a Soul Fest on Groudon. We just bring out Groudon, we kinda go from there. Can't you go from there? But there's the Soul Heart boost. There's the beautiful Soul Heart boost. Which I love. And the Quake's gonna fire, and we do have the Shuka Berry, which is amazing. I actually forgot about the Shuka Berry. I did forget about the Shuka Berry. So that's a big time Shuka Berry. Big, big time Shuka Berry. So we're gonna be able to soak up rather well. We should be able to eat up, I think, another Quake. But he's gonna be special defense boosted, which is rather annoying, but still, we could target down the Lunala here and get and grant a defense boost. Kind of leaning towards that. Just going into Groudon here. And blazing alongside with a uh, steel spike into the Lunala just to try to pick up another KO and get a soul heart boost again and then go after Groudon. Right, that sound good. I could go for Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw is not bad, but I think Blades going to be my play. Just so I can chip up damage on both and then just drop a nice little steel spike right over into the Lunala slot. We'll see what happens. He ends up guarding too. Let's go. Big time, big time, big time steel spike coming in here. He ends up guarding. We love it. We love it. So Seal Spike pops through here. It does like no damage because this Pokemon is extremely bulky. And I really did think it was going to do uh, more damage. But wow, that Pokemon's that bulky? That is tough. Blade's going to fly through here. So I'll take that turn all day. I will take that turn all day. We're going to end up going for a Blades. And another Blade seems like it should be able to KO. This thing's going to reverse the Trick Room. Okay. So he reverses Trick Room. And I think we just drop another Blades here. I could guard, but I just feel like we just get after this Pokemon, right? I feel like we just get after it at this point. Because there is a slight chance that our Groudon goes before the Lunala, and we can Blade it and KO it. He's going to end up wide guarding. Oh, wow. What a play. Smart play. Smart play. Smart play. And we have to get we have to get rid of this Groudon before anything, you know? Groudon has got to go. It's good to know that my Groudon outspeeds. He's going to end up flaring, and can we eat that? We can. Beautiful. Beautiful, Magirna. Beautiful work. Steel Spike's going to fly through here. He has no boost. We are plus one. He is plus one as well. And Steel Spike's going to do that much damage. Okay. Uh, It's good to know that my Groudon actually is faster. I could pop Trick Room again. Because who do we think he has in the back end? I could pop Trick Room again. But I think my Groudon can pick up the double KO no problem. Right? Then we can pop another Trick Room with Magirna and it will be boosted like crazy. I think that's our play all day. So I'm just going to pop this. I'm going to go for a Trick Room of my own. Try to reverse it back and have Magirna set up and win this match. Let's see how this one plays. Because I can always choice into that Extreme Speed again. He's going to end up withdrawing Groudon. So Groudon gets to withdraw here. And who's he going to fly into? He's going to fly into Tornas, which is a rather smart play there. Blade's going to fly here. Can we take out the Lunala? Can we please take out the Lunala? We don't take out the Lunala. That hurts the soul. Moon Guys Beam's gonna fly here. Go after Groudon, please. You gotta be going after my Magirna. That kinda hurts, and that's probably gonna take it out, right? Eat this up. Oh my god, no! Tough. That is tough. Okay. So from here, what do we do? If Regilecki, we can choice to a move. We know he has Groudon. But I think I have to choice to an electric move, right? It makes the most sense. Twisting into an electric move makes the most sense. I think I just drop a rock slide here. Pick up the kill. And then I think I just wild charge straight into this thing. I think I just twist to a wild charge. Because we have our Groudon to kind of beat out his Groudon. But it really depends who his final Pokemon is. It's tough. He's an eerie impulse. Good thing we are physical attacking. <laughs> Good thing we are physical attacking. Good thing we are physical. Wild Charge can come out here. He's probably like, oh, come on now. <laughs> He's probably so upset. And can this Rock Slide double land? Can it please double land? Of course, this thing has a berry. But I still think a Rock Slide has a chance of picking up a KO. Let's see. Come on, Rock Slide. Do me good. Rock Slide double lands. Lunala is definitely dead. Can I take out the Thunders? It does not. That hurts the soul just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. That hurts. So he wasted a turn with Eerie Impulse. This thing is Prankster. 
fine with that. We're two physical attacking Pokemon. He has Groudon in the back end who already took a huge chunk of damage. And I think our Groudon outspeeds him. I'm almost positive it does. So Blades can finish that off. Um, hmm. But we don't know his last Pokemon. It's the only problem. It's the only problem. And is this his last Pokemon? It's going to be Groudon. I think he has one more, right, that we haven't seen? I think he has one more that he had, that we haven't seen. Because I think he led the Groudon Lunal, right? Yeah, he led the Groudon Lunal. And if I had to guess the final Pokemon... Ooh, what, what, what is his final Pokemon? Hmm. I don't even know. I really have no idea. But at this point, do I go for a Fire Punch? I think Fire Punch should be able to KO in the Drought. I don't know if I should take the risk. Let's go for Blades. I think Fire Punch should be able to KO. And then we just, you know, stay into a Wild Charge and outspeed that thing. I don't want to miss a Blades. I really don't. He's going to... Ooh. The Scary Face action. Smart play. What are you going into here? My Groudon. That's a great play. A great play. Wild Charge still comes out here. He's going to be able to drop a Blades here. Now that Scary Face was a beautiful play. Maybe he misses a Blades. Can he miss a Blade on my Regilecki? He goes for Blades. Who missed it? Who dodged it? Reggie dot Yo, Reggie! <laughs> my boy, Reggie. My boy, Reggie over here. Fire Punch comes in. I think Fire Punch should be able to pick up the KO, right? It does. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. My boy, Reggie. We're going to start calling him Reggie Jackson, yo. He's the man. He's the man. <laughs> I love it. I love it, yo. Big time dodge. RNG definitely helping us out. And Kiram's going to be his final Pokemon. And this is kind of tough because, like, he could hit me with one Ice Beam and finish me off, right? Go for the Rock Slide. What's going to do more damage? Rock Slide should do more damage. Boy, it just hits like a truck. But I'm going to go for the Rock Slide. And I'm just going to Wild Charge. This is going to be tough because if he hits me with an Ice Beam here, I lose. I think I lose. But still, yo, Reggie doing some nice damage. Can you get off a turn ground on? Please and thank you. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for, he goes for Dragon Claw. That's GG's for us. We eat that up. There's no ice move. Does he not have an ice move? Rock Slide comes in here. Bink. See you later. Nope. Brings him down the red. And Reg's like he just outspeeds him. Could do enough damage from there. But yo, beautiful match for us in battle number two. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. But uh, RNG was definitely on our side a little bit there. Final battle is coming at you guys. RNG definitely helped us out a little bit in battle number two. I'm not going to deny it, but you guys know the deal here. We're in our third battle, and we're looking for a perfect record for today's video. We're going up against a dude who picked his team in 15 seconds. Okay, that's cool. But he has Sassian, Shadow Rider, Calyx, and then he's got Landorus, Thunderous, Storm Drink, Gastron, and Incineroar. Okay, um, I could go Coaching Zero or here. But again, Trick Room is just beautiful. So I might just go, do I go Whimsy with the Focus Ash? Ah, uh, what does Jeans want to do here? Let's see what the Focus Ash isn't bad. I feel like he must... I mean, I mean, I feel like he leads Incineroar, right? I feel like he leads Incineroar. So I could go Palkia. I could go Wimscott, which I kind of really like. But again, Intimidate won't affect this, and then we can kind of go from there. I'm going to go Palkia, Wimscott. I'm going to try to pop a trick. I got to bring Groudon in the back end. And then do I bring back Yurna? Or do I bring a Pokemon more so like Zero Aura here? Hmm. Problems that we have. The problems that we have. Meg Gearna. I'm going to bring Meg Gearna. I like Meg Gearna. Especially if we're going to pop Trick Room. It just works out too well. The only problem with this team is like I love this Regilecki set right here with the Choice Band. It does a crazy amount of damage. But I just feel like there's no chance we can ever use Explosion. Like the, there's just no chance, right? When can I use Explosion? I just don't know. I just don't know. It's tough. I really want to use it in today's video. But I've just been getting no chances to do it. It's going to end up going with these two. Which I'm kind of cool with. I could definitely pop a Trick Room with Whimsicott, right? And Dynamax and Geyser into Lando, right? That sounds good. That does sound good because I doubt he doubles into Whimsicott, right? I think an Asher Barrage just comes in here and I, again, I doubt he doubles into Whimsicott. I really do doubt it. So I might just Geyser try to get rid of this Lando and then roll out from there. I'm going to go Trick Room. I'm just going to straight up Dynamax. And I'm just going to go for the Razor. Makes the most sense, right? And then we can double down into uh, Shadow Rider next turn if we have to. With an Energy Ball and another Max move. But we'll see what, what happens here. We end up Dynamax and he does not. So I'm really curious to see what he's doing here. I really am curious to see what he's doing. He's not swapping Lando. So Lando's going to die here. There's no way Lando, Lando survives. Unless it flies. Ooh. 
Oh, that'd be a that'd be a nice turn if he flies, and he dodges his first move. Goes for Astro Barrage. Yep, and Wimshot goes down to that, and he rock slides. Now that one hurts. That one hurts. So we don't get off Trick Room. I mean, we can go into Magirna from here. We get rid of Lando though. So Lando's gone. Um, Magirna we have to pop a Trick Room with, right? Or I can go straight into Groudon. Hmm. I think I'd rather go into Magirna. I mean, if Magirna dies, we pick up another KO with Palkia. But the Rock Slide, the double double move, the double double hitting moves. Totally strong. I, I just, I was expecting the Ash Rush. I was not expecting the Rock Slide for a double hitting move. But I am going to go into Magirna here. I'm going to throw out this Pokemon. I'm going to try to pop Trick Room on that slot. Or I could just protect it and maybe try to pop it next turn. It really depends who he goes into. I got Thunders. I think we could pop it this turn, right? I think this is definitely a safe turn. We could pop it. Like, go for it. I think I do, and I think I just geyser. Or I can go for a boost, but I think geyser's just gonna overpower a lot that the Thunders has to offer, because he might Dynamax the Thunders. He might Dynamax this Thunders, which he does indeed. He does indeed, unless it's going, he's going for the Cali. Cali could be the play. Hmm. Let's see. There'll be six with the Thunders. A big time geyser can come out here. Maybe I should have protected my Girna. I definitely should have. Because we know he's going to target it down. We know he's targeting it down. He just doesn't want Trick Room to come out here. He just does not want Trick Room to come out here. Ashbot's going to fire. He's going to go for Lightning. Go on the Palkia, please. Nope. He targets down to my Girna. Should have protected it. And my Girna drops. Yeah, tough, tough. Tough, tough. Kind of playing dumb in a certain final battle. I'm not going to lie. I am kind of playing dumb. Just trying to force a Trick Room quick. So he's gonna drop some HP due to Life Orb. We're gonna end up dropping a lovely little Geyser, and Geyser picks up the KO. Like I said, dude, Palkia is super strong for no reason. <laughs> he's just so strong for no reason. So underrated, in my opinion. Just so strong. I mean, I think we can open up Astro Barrage. I mean, we can bring out Groudon. We do kind of contradict ourselves here by changing the weather, but I could Shadow Claw. Into that shadow out of but let's see what he goes into. Zacian. Oh no. Actually, too bad. I have blades here now. I have to blades. I have to blades. I have to blades because I really wonder who he's going after. Blades and Quake? Hmm. I think what's called Mighty Even Protect here. Go for Wormwind? Slower attack. I think he might protect Zashian. That could be a big play for us if he does. Nope, he does not. Ash Barrage comes through here. Palkia soaks now. Who, who are you picking the KO here? He's gonna go after Groudon. Can you soak this Groudon? If Groudon soaks this, I think we, we have a shot at winning this game. Can you soak this, please? Let's go. All day. All day. I think we just won. I think, well, we have to land blades. We have to land blades. Roman comes out here. We drop attack. Yo, if we land double blades here, it's GG in a can. It's GG in a can. Show it to me. Show it to me. Show it to me. Show me the double blades land. Oh, no. He missed one. Who dodged it? He missed both. He missed both and we lose the game. No shot. No shot. Yo, no shot. That just happened. No shot. That just happened. Bruh, no. Because I was saying, you know, okay, if we if we just miss Zashian, that's okay. As long as we take out Shadow Rider Kalarx. Because then we can have either a Blades coming out from Groudon or an Earth Power coming out from, from Palkia. But that's not the play now. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. <laughs> Double miss Blades. Yo, I swear I should just stop talking. Because every time I say we need to land this or hopefully we don't miss, I always miss an attack. But he pops an Astro Barrage, he's going to pick up the double kill to end it and destroy our chances at a perfect record. What a set of battles for today's video. Ended up going 2-1 and one and came this close, this close to a perfect record with this off-meta Series 13 team. But I absolutely love this team. Definitely a lot of fun to use. Something totally different than just a typical Zacian, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Kyogre team. So it's definitely a lot of fun to play with these Pokemon and switch up the meta just a little bit. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace out, everybody.